welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're back at the bench with the Spark, and in this video, I want to share with you guys how to get the videos off your Copter's SD card onto your device so you can use the DJI Go4 app editor. So the way you do this, when you're at the flight screen as we are now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Editor, and then up in the corner, you're going to want to click this... Um, sort of folded paper icon. Once you click the folded paper icon, you're going to be presented with load uh, or have onboard SD. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Now, these are the files from the onboard SD. So we're going to take, we're going to try a rather small one here. So we're going to take this uh, uh, 51 second helix that we did. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit down so now you see it's downloading the file. Now, one of the things um, I, I recommend taking the card out and moving it into your computer if you're going to use a computer to edit the video because it takes a long time to download it over this Wi-Fi link. So you see how long it's running. Now, this is a, like a 51 second um, video. So just think about if you had a 10 minute video or something, it will take quite some time. Uh, I also do, do not suggest doing this in flight. I suggest doing this at a bench with a fresh battery. I also recommend removing the props while this is downloading or while you're doing this at home on the bench or on your couch or wherever you do this stuff from. Uh, just for safety purposes because you are bound to this copter. So there is the potential of flight. So safety first. So okay, we've now downloaded this into our Go app and... Uh, so we can sit here and play the high-res image of it. So we're playing the high-res image of it through. And we now have it on our local device here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go back. And I'm going to go back um, the back arrow. And so now this is actually on our device as being a high-res. So I can go ahead, I can select this, I can do different things with it, I can upload it to social media, those type of things with it, or use the um, editor inside the Go app, which I really don't recommend. Um, you know, maybe if you have an iPad Pro or uh, rather to do a tablet or something, it might be worthwhile, but I, I do most of my stuff on the computer. But if you are one of those folks that want to do it on the phone, a lot of people do, or a tablet, this is how you get it there. Now, this is now on your phone, so if you have other um, editing programs, for example, maybe you have the iPhone. The iPhone will work the same way. You'll download it to the phone. Now you can load it in iMovie or whatever you have on your phone or tablet uh, to edit it. So... If you are wondering how you get the image from the SD card into your phone, this is how you do it. So hopefully you found that handy and interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe button over there. What are we having for lunch today? And we'll see you guys in the next video.